in this video, we're going to learn new things about graphing, which will require us to know everything we've learned so far. We're going to use two points to find the equation of a line. To find the equation of a line given two points, you must first have the slope. Recall the slope formula is m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. To find the y-intercept, we use y equals mx plus b, and we solve for b. Let's try some examples. In example one, we're asked to find the equation of the line through negative three, negative five, and two, five. I'm going to call negative three, negative five, point one, or coordinate point one, and two, five, coordinate point two. Remember, that to find the equation of a line, you must have slope first. And slope, as we just said, is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And we're going to substitute these values in for our y's and our x's. 5 minus negative 5 over 2 minus negative 3, which reduces to 10 over 5, or slope is equal to 2. We can now use that slope that we have just found in our slope-intercept equation. y equals mx plus b, where m is 2. So now I can substitute 2 in for m. Now I need to find b. I can pick either one of these coordinate points that were given to me that are on the line to solve for b. Because remember, this represents a value of x and this represents a value of y that are on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and pick negative 5 and negative 3 for my y and x and solve for b. I get negative 5 is equal to negative 6 plus b. Now I'm going to add 6 to both sides to solve for b. And I get 1 is equal to b. So the slope-intercept equation of the line is y equals 2 x plus 1, where m, or my slope, is 2 and the y-intercept, or b, is 1. Moving on to example two, we're asked to find the equation of the line through the point one, negative four, and three, five. As in the example before, we needed to first find slope. Recall slope is y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two 
minus x sub 1. Substituting in our points or coordinates, I'm going to call the first coordinate point 1 and the second coordinate point 2, and I'm going to substitute in the values for x and y. 5 minus negative 4 over 3 minus 1, which simplifies to 9 over 2, or 9 halves. So m, or our slope, is 9 over 2, and I can now substitute that into my slope-intercept equation. Remember, 9 halves is now in place of m. Now all I need to do is solve for b. b is what I still need to find, so I'm going to take one of my points, I'll just take point 1, and I'm going to substitute x and y in for x and y in this slope-intercept equation to solve for b. At this point, we have to find an LCD because 9 halves does not reduce. I'm going to go ahead and build up my denominator by multiplying by 2 over 2 on this side. So now I have negative 8 halves is equal to 9 halves plus b. Now, solving for b, I'm going to subtract 9 halves from both sides. My final answer for b is negative 8 halves minus 9 halves is negative 17 halves. I now have b and I have slope m. So I can now write the equation of my line in slope-intercept form y equals 9 halves x minus 17 halves. And that's my answer.